200. So 215 and 200. And it's a, it's a credit to you because it's an equity account. And then we got uh, paid in capital. So let's we'll just call it paid in capital. And we're going to say that that's going to be for the 30,000 and zero. So that's an increase of 30,000. That's also a credit, credit balance accounts. And then of course, retained earnings, retained earnings. Now here's where things are gonna get a little bit tricky. If I put the retained earnings here, that's on the balance sheet, of course, 230 and 125 credit, 230,000 and 125 credit 125 then you would think uh, we should be in balance there. So we're out of balance right now. Let's go back through. I'm gonna check and see where uh, where the problem is. So I'm just gonna go through these and check these off. And note, if I get down to accounts payable here, there's where the problem is. And that's the point of putting it into a debit and credit format. We have the double entry accounting system. It's gonna tell us something's wrong there. And I, I have another seven, I missed a seven. So I'm just gonna double click. 